Hi everyone, it's me again. I have another Lavinia Stamps video tutorial for you, from me to you. And today I'm featuring a sort of very simple background, uh, along with the beautiful Chinese lantern stamp. So we're off. Now this background is very quick to do. I have an A4 piece of Lavinia Stamps Multifarious cardstock in white. I've folded it, creased it. I've cut it to 10 centimetres in width by 15 centimetres in length. And I've used a corner punch and I've rounded off all four corners. Taking a scoreboard and a scoring tool, <clears throat> I'm going to make the fence panel behind by scoring lines. So take the front of your card and the front of your card goes face down onto the scoreboard. And starting here, I'm just going to do uneven widths. Now I know a fence panel has got even uh, fence posts in or planks of wood, but this is art. So we're going to have some wider than others um, because it adds interest and it looks better, I think. See what you think when you've um, created it. So that's quite wide one and then a smaller one, then one that's much wider. And then I'll have a couple of small ones. So it's all uneven widths. Like so. Okay. Pop that out of the way. Bit of copy paper to protect the inside. And then I've got weathered wood. Uh, distressing, you can use any dye based inks you like, and I'm just going to very gently come down the outside edge so it's ink pad direct to the cardstock, coming to the next one down, but not going down so far so that I've got white space now starting to gather over in this left hand side, and then a bit more going down. This is quite a wet pad, so I need to be careful. And then this left-hand edge coming down a bit more, but not right to the bottom. So you've got a sort of a graduated up and down area in white space here. Might add a little bit more there. All right, simple. Some splodgy bits, but don't worry, we'll get rid of those. Then I'm using milled lavender. Um, and you can use obviously any colours you want. Uh, just to put on the top now of the blue and this is quite a dry pad so it's going to be a bit firmer pressure right the way down over the top of the blue very firmly but if your ink pad is wet don't be so heavy handed okay taking it down into some parts of the white space And then this side, bringing it down and a bit more in this white space area, but very gently now so that I still retain some of the white space, but also I've got the colour. Okay, now I need to knock back some of this blue. So I've got Snowflake Paper Artsy Paint. You can use any white paint you like. I like this because it's matte, it's chalk, and it dries fast. Popping a bit down onto my copy paper. Inch flat top brush, dry, no water. Spread the paint out a bit. Don't want it too thick. And then very gently with a light wrist action, you're just painting your fence panels. <laughs> just pop a bit of paint over the top. Give yourself a sort of a misty look and to get rid of any ugly spots and lines that you've got with that blue ink. I'm just knocking it back so it sinks further into the background. A bit more there. 
Don't worry about brush marks, that all adds to it. Makes it look good. That's it. Now I've got a few heavier lines there that I want rid of. And then we'll bring some down into this area so it it's not all over, but it's not so patchy like so. Paintbrush straight into water and heat gun. I've got a stamp mat underneath here. You can use your stamp press if you wish. Because now I'm going to apply um, the stamp, the Chinese lantern. It's on an acrylic block, as you can see. And I'm using these. And you'll find some of these on the Lavinia Stamps website. These are um, small archival ink pads in distress ink colours. They don't do the larger ink pads in the Distress Inks colours of Archival Inks, but Archival Inks do their normal colours in both the small size pad and the larger one. I usually prefer the larger one, but until they bring them out in these Distress Ink colours, which I absolutely love, then uh, because I'm a huge fan of Distress Inks, as you know, then I'm going to go with these, and they are... Such pretty, pretty colours. So you'll find those, some of them on the Lavinia Stamps website. And I'm using Spice Marmalade and Barn Door. Starting off with the Spice Marmalade. It's well loved, this ink pad, so it's not very wet. But it should be enough. You can get reinkers in these as well. I don't know if Lavinia sell them, but I've got reinkers in these, which is handy because the pads are so small. And uh, I do so much crafting, but they still last a long time, even if you're not as heavy handed as me. So down from the top, press. I'm just looking for a shadow in the background. That's what I'm aiming for. Coming over here, out from the side, like so. Such a pretty stamp, this one. Happy Bank Holiday Monday to you if you're in the UK. Hope that you have a lovely day. And then up from the bottom here, like so. Great. On to colour number two, and that is going to be Barn Door. Now this is a wetter ink pad, so the colour is going to be stronger. So I'm just going to pop a bit of it down there, on top of the orange virtually, to be honest. And then some more here. Different angle, but coming out from the side again. And then I'm going to do another... piece coming up from the bottom here again over the orange and then I'm going to give this a white because I'm going back to my spice marmalade I didn't do this on the original card but I've just noticed oh, it's got a bit of fluff on it I've just noticed that I'm not overly keen on this area of my fence panel so I'm just going to pop in another piece of the spice marmalade 
onto my Chinese lantern so that it takes the eye away from that, that area. I wasn't keen on how that panel bit looked. But anyway, that's good. I'm happy with it now. And I won't put any red over that. I think I'm going to leave it. Next, it is archival black now for the main feature. I re-inked this pad last night, so it should be quite... Should be quite all right. Surplus there. And then starting in the main image area, I'm coming up from the bottom. I want a lot of this on, but I don't want the end of the stems on. So I'm popping that down there like so. Yes, that's good. I don't want two solid images coming out, to be honest. Because it's quite a delicate stamp and I want that sort of delicate look to come through. And if you press your um, stamp down too heavily, you can get this sort of you know, smudged look or too strong where you've pressed too hard. And I don't want that. So I'm just going to pop down now, or pop up in this instance. No, I will come down, I think. Down here. Yep, yeah, that's good. And then the final one, I think that I'm going to come across here like so. Like that's that. That's good. Oh, now that's nice. Okay. Yep, pleased with that. Now, the word dreams I had in this area up here, but I, I think that might be a bit busy, so I'm going to put it here. In fact, I'm going to put it here. Across there. And again, not pressing too heavily on this. It's a delicate stamp down and up. That's nice. So a bit of a blast with a heat gun. Good. Got a bit of stray ink there. I can get rid of that anyway. I shall do that with a um, white pen in a minute. So I'm just going to pop some uh, dimensional pearls down with one of these. This is called, it's a pearl pen from Pentart. So let's see what I can do here. One, two, three, four, five. And then another three here. One, two, three. Don't want them to be too large. And then another three here, I think. One, two, three. Like so. And then finally, I'm just going to have a bit of a whacking again with um, my... find it my Posca white pen and my perfect layers ruler so I'm just going to pop a few especially where I've got these marks in black want to overdo this. Oh, I use this, I think. Right, I've got a couple of marks here. Just very gently going to put the Posca paint pen over the top. This will sink into the cardstock, won't notice the marks then. And then there's a darker one here. 
I'll just make this. This is the, the lovely um, part of having a painted background that you can scribble out any marks and it looks as if it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> and you just fade away, it's good. Right, I'm done. That was fun. I enjoyed showing you that. It's a great background. It looks great in all sorts of different colours, so don't forget to give it a go. And um, have a nice bank holiday, UK people, and everywhere else you are, stay safe and enjoy your week. Bye for now.